Hello and welcome back to Saudi Arabia. In this video, we're going on a little bit of a road trip. The desert is behind me here. Although this video is more about mountains and mountain villages than it is about desert. We're about to head right up here to the mountains that run parallel to the Red Sea. And we're taking a car all the way from Jeddah. We're going to be visiting the villages of the Ain and also Rija Alma. So it's gonna be the course of two days Today we'll be arriving into the Ain for golden hour, sunset, shooting around, exploring, and then tomorrow morning we're gonna wake up early and then drive on to Rijal Alma and then back to Jeddah. So it's gonna be fun, gonna be interesting. A different side to Saudi Arabia than this classic image, which is right behind me, but we've just stopped to take a look at these beautiful sand dunes, because why not? Another quick stop before we reach the mountains. You can see there are hundreds of camel in the distance there. Just with the backdrop of the scenery makes for some good photos and it's really interesting to see camels in the wild here for the first time. Final stop before we reach the mountains just over there is the watchtower overlooking this green valley which is full of lush vegetation and anybody who was positioned here would have been able to see anyone coming in the distance across the flatlands towards the mountain villages. Clearly this is a strategic point because the water flowing from the mountains would run through this lush valley that's why it's so green, all the way out to the Red Sea in the coastline ahead. So we have now finally arrived at one of the most spectacular villages in the whole of the country and that village is known as the Ain revealing itself in all its glory behind me there standing in front of the mountain range that surrounds this valley the Ain is the absolute incredible example of a traditional mountain village here in the Asiya mountains or the Hejaz further north and you can see the lush environment surrounding it we're gonna take a closer look at the village. We're gonna walk in its streets and get a feel for what it's like and look out over the rest of the surrounding area as the sun sets just in front of me here. Heading up to the village, we were invited for drinks just here, as you can see. Not a bad view to have a quick spot of a drink and a few dates before heading into the village with very friendly men.
Really nice experience with the locals just behind me there who live in uh, Al Baha, not far from here. We're heading into the Ain now because we don't have much time. Oh, I'm The Ain dates back to the 8th century and a total of 49 houses and a mosque is what the town consists of. You can see the type of stone that's been used and lots of locals from the nearby villages coming here to enjoy the sunset with their families. I love how the colour of the building, it blends in a little bit with the surrounding landscape, but just enough to kind of pop just slightly amongst the terrain that surrounds it. It's a fascinating part of Saudi Arabia, a region of contrasts. You have vegetation and trees, rocks and sand. As I approach the top of the village, you can see the views stretching out to the sprawling greenery that sits beneath the Ain. Great views again of the mountains behind. If you want to reach here, then renting a car really is the best option. Coming from Jeddah, it's about four hours drive. The nearest town is Baha, not that much of a distance from the Ain. However, you will need to find a way to reach the Ain from Baha, and that can be via a taxi perhaps, or finding a local who can host you and take you here themselves or renting a car and taking to the Saudi roads if you can drive. Good morning and welcome back. We just spent the night in Abha after coming all the way down south from the village of the Ain which is near the town of Baha and we're not far from the Yemen border and the other towns of Jizan and Najaran but we're heading back down again to the village of Rijal Alma, which is one of the other most beautiful villages in this area. We've got a good view as we've just stopped at this one particular point here to take in the views before heading on a bit further. So it's freezing cold at the moment and it's early morning, so let's get back in the car and make our way down to the village. Following an hour or so's journey from Abha along some spectacularly scenic roads, we have now arrived at the heritage village of Rijal Alma, which you can see behind me there. Stunningly picturesque and dating back to the 8th century, it's truly one of the best villages in the region. Built on the slopes 
of the mountains, you'll usually find the village to be enveloped in clouds in the winter, especially if you come early in the morning. I'm here around 10.30 a.m. But still, we have clouds in the sky, that overcast look, which kind of matches the colors of the stone that was used to make the buildings. It seems like we're the only tourists here, no one else around. And just like the Ain, no entrance fee at all for Rijal Alma. So all you have to do is figure out how to get here. I think that there's a lot of potential to better restore these places if entry fees are put on these particular sites and also help protect them for the future. If you walk to the back of the village, you'll find that there are many buildings that still have not yet been restored and are a skeleton of their former selves. Not a single soul around. I don't know if you can pick it up, but birds are chirping. Stillness. Are you surprised by some of these places and how they look, the villages I've shown in this video. Here in Saudi Arabia, was this your perception of what Saudi Arabia could look like? Countries are bigger than you think and they have landscape that you couldn't imagine. It's not all desert, Bedouins, camels. It's a lot more than that and this video showcases a little bit of that. And would you consider coming to visit for yourself if you've never been before? Let me know in the comments below. And that's for tourism, not for a religious purpose, I mean. So I'm going to end this video here. Our two day road trip is pretty much complete. We just have the long journey back to Jeddah. The next video is going to be from Riyadh. If you want to have some more help on how to do road trips here in Saudi to places like this and the cliffs that overlooked the Mecca Tower, then check out Arabian Trails, my friend. I'll leave his website in the description below and his Instagram and you can download a free guide from him if you want to do a road trip around Saudi then it's going to help you a lot. So both the Ain and Rija Alma are spectacular places and hopefully that came through in the video. Follow me on Instagram below if you're interested in seeing more of my stories and posts from the country and I'll see you on the next video in Riyadh. Peace.